So you're wanting to make a leveled trait in Crusader Kings 3 for version 1.16. I wanted to thank everyone for voting on the post that I made the other day and also for the comment uh, for the idea for this video in the first place. So first things first, you want to go to your Crusader Kings 3 launcher, go to all installed mods, then click on upload mod, create a mod, and then name it test leveled trait, and then version 0 0.1 test leveled trait as the directory and then put any tag you like in here i'm going to put gameplay as mine and create mod and then you're going to want to find it in the folder so show in folder and it'll come up with this folder here which is in documents paradox interactive crusader kings 3 mod and test level trait or whatever you named your mod and you'll have a descriptor.mod file in here that's perfect so what we need to do inside of this folder is make some new ones so first folder we're going to make is common so the reason why we're naming these the way that we are is due to the base game files we've got a common folder here inside of this we can scroll down and we can find the traits folder here so that's what we are copying so if we go into into our mod into the common folder make a new mod call it traits and then inside of that we can create a new text document and call it test underscore traits dot txt uh, first we need to add a zero zero underscore test underscore traits for the same formatting as this file here so once we've got that txt we can open that up in visual studio code once we've got that open in visual studio code we can start typing in our test traits dot txt so the first thing we're going to do is name our trait that we're making so test underscore trait in this case equals curly brackets and then add a category the category for a level trait should be lifestyle and then the icon i'm just going to use an example of brave.dds so you could add your own art in here so for example you can go into the base game files go into the gfx folder then go into interface and then icons and then scroll down and find the traits folder here and you've got all of the different trait picture names. So I'm going to be using brave.dds, but you could use any of these as your example or post your own into the mod by copying the folder location into your mod folder. Now, what, moving on from that, we can add in our modifiers for our traits. So I'm going to go with diplomacy equals one, martial equals one, and prowess equals one. This is just an example. You could do other things instead. Uh, ruler, designer, cost is next so ruler designer underscore cost equals i'm going to put it as 50 for an example and then on from that we can go track equals curly bracket so this is the tracking xp bar so you can go 50 at 50 xp equals curly xp uh, curly brackets diplomacy equals two so once you get to level uh, 50 xp you can then get uh, extra modifiers on your traits so i'm going to go with diplomacy equals two prowess equals one and martial equals one so once you hit that 50 xp you'll get all of these and then at 100 xp you can add some more in there so i'm going to go diplomacy equals three martial equals five and prowess equals two that is all that is needed for this tracking here so we can move on from that and add in the name for our trait so this is a little bit longer so we can go name equals curly brackets first underscore valid and then we've got the trigger description here press enter there then trigger equals curly brackets again exists equals this and then has underscore trait underscore xp equals curly brackets and then trait equals lifestyle underscore test underscore trait and that'll be the uh, name of our uh, trait once it is above 100 xp so we're going to go value is greater or equal to 100 and then below that we can type in the name so dsc equals test underscore trait underscore three so this is the level three of the trait well, uh, so that's once you are 100 or more XP, which 100 is the max. But once you've hit that, then this is the name of the trait. And then you can go below the trigger description here and then add in another one. So trigger underscore DSC, remove that line and then trigger and then exists equals this again. And then has underscore trait underscore XP equals curly brackets trait equals lifestyle underscore test underscore trait and then the value is greater or equal to 50 so halfway through the xp bar the name will change to description equals test 
underscore trait underscore two, which is the level two of the trait. And then if neither of these have been triggered, we can move on to the description name test underscore trait underscore one. So this is the base name of the trait if these two don't uh, or aren't triggered. And then after the name, we move on to the description of the trait. So first underscore valid, and then go to the next line on that, and then trigger, and then not in full caps equals curly brackets exists equals this and then outside of the not curly brackets we can go dsc equals test underscore trait underscore one underscore dsc this is the description of the trait if it's level one and then outside of that one we add another triggered description remove this line trigger equals curly brackets has underscore trait underscore xp equals curly brackets and then trait equals lifestyle underscore test underscore trait and then the value being greater or equal to 50 so this is the level two of the trait and then we put the description as test underscore trait underscore two underscore character underscore descriptions you don't have to have the underscore character here you could have these values as completely different it's just for me being able to see this easily and then outside of that trigger just description we can add another one in so trigger description equals curly brackets trigger curly brackets has underscore trait underscore xp equals curly brackets trait equals lifestyle underscore test underscore trait and then the value being greater or equal to 100 so this is the level three and then below that we can unfollow the trigger sorry description equals test underscore trait underscore three underscore character underscore description and then below the yellow curly brackets again so outside of this trigger dis uh, description part here we can go description equals test underscore trait underscore one underscore character underscore description so this is if these two aren't triggered we just create this description here then outside of the whole description here we can add in compatibility so this is for mainly for the AI, but just for example, we can go callus equals negative underscore compact or compact or compatibility underscore medium uh, calm equals underscore negative underscore compact underscore low uh, brave being a negative oh sorry positive compact high. So this is all the this is you'll be able to grasp what the different variables could be so you could have positive compact low cos compact medium etc etc just for examples i'm showing what that code looks like and so now we are done with the test traits so we can move on to creating a localization folder so we're going to create a new folder call it localization and then inside of that folder we create another one called english and then inside of that one we create a new file called test underscore l underscore english underscore traits dot yml uh, and then inside of this localization file your l underscore english colon and then test underscore trait underscore one colon zero and this is the name of the trait so i'm going to name it test trait and then the test underscore trait underscore one underscore description colon zero and then quotations test trait level one description and then under that we can go test underscore trait underscore one underscore character underscore description colon zero so this is the test trait character description and then below that we're going to do the level two now so test underscore trait underscore two colon zero quotations test trait level two and then test underscore trait underscore two underscore character description colon zero quotations test trait level two description we don't have to do the middle one here on the level two because this is the description of the trait uh, overall whereas this one is the uh, description of the level two and then the test underscore trait level three so underscore three colon zero quotations test trait level three and then we can go test underscore trait underscore three underscore character description colon zero test trait level three 
description and then below that we need to have a name and a description for the track that we gave so this is the track here we need to add a name and a description for the xp bar essentially so trait underscore track underscore test underscore trait colon zero and then name that test trait tracking so with the naming of this we haven't actually declared what this variable is anywhere in our code but if you add trait underscore track and then the name of your trait that will work with yours and then the line below that we can go trait underscore track underscore test underscore trait underscore description colon zero quotations test trait tracking description and that is the end of our .yml file we can then move on so for this tutorial i'm going to be using some of the base game files to show you as an example how you could add xp to your trait or through actions in game so if you go to your base game files and inside of common we can go with the on action folder which is here and then scroll down and you can find a bunch of different .txts that could allow you to add XP to your trait on an action happening. So in, for my example, I'm going to be using the army on actions and the travel on actions. So the army on action is here. So if we go copy with this one and then go back to our Visual Studio code and add a new folder underneath common and call it on underscore action. And then inside of that, you can press control V it's paste on that and it comes up with the base game files here i'm going to be control fing and finding the xp here so once the siege has completed we can add in our code in here so for this example we're going to be going below this block of code here and then typing in army underscore commander question mark equals curly brackets so if this exists from this code uh, if equals curly brackets limit equals curly brackets and then has trait equals test underscore trait so that's the name of our trait that we have declared in the traits folder here so at the top and then below that we go is commanding army and then equal that to yes and then the location dot barony equals scope dot bar oh, colon barony sorry so this is a a few if statements so if you have if your character has the test trait and if you're commanding an army and if you're in a barony then you could add the trait xp so add underscore trait underscore xp equals curly brackets trait equals test underscore trait and then add the value or how much xp you would like so value equals curly brackets value equals 10 and another way you could do this as well is add equals curly brackets the value equals your martial skill and then you could divide it or multiply uh i'm going to do divide by 20 so if you have a martial skill of 20 you'll get one extra xp on this and this code can be added to almost anywhere in the on actions folder this code is uh kind of limited to this file specifically and then for my example i'm going to go back to the base game files and then find the travel on actions so this will be towards the bottom so travel on actions.txt so if we copy that and then put that into the same folder so click on on action and then control v and paste that in and then search for an xp here so we want to for this example find this one specifically so this is on underscore travel underscore plan underscore start so when your character starts to travel to a, another county for example if you are going on a hunt or a pilgrimage when your character starts moving along the map you can give him xp so if equals curly brackets limit equals curly brackets has underscore trait equals test underscore trait so if your character has the test trait, you can add XP, add trait underscore XP equals curly brackets, trait equals test underscore trait, and then value equals 10. I'm just going to leave it as 10 XP flat whenever you start traveling. And then the 
other one we want to work on as well is the on underscore travel underscore plan underscore complete. So once your character comes back to your capital or where, wherever he is located normally, you can add in some XP in there. So I'm going to do the same thing. So if equals curly brackets limit equals curly brackets as underscore trait equals test underscore trait. And then outside of that, add underscore trait underscore XP equals curly brackets trait equals test underscore trait. And then value equals 10. And I'm going to do another one as well. So we can go with add equals curly brackets value equals learning. And then we can divide that by four. All right. So now our trait is all done with the XP gains in there as well. So we can now upload the mod and click play. So the way I like to do that is go into our Crusader Kings launcher again, go to all install mods, click on upload mod, find the mod you are working on. So test level trait and then Steam Workshop and then add in a at least 10 character description and then upload the mod to Steam. Once that is done, we can go to Steam into Workshop, files you've posted and then find the mod you are working on and then subscribe to it. And while that's downloading, I'm just gonna to go to an empty place set and then add to current place set. We want the mod with the Steam logo on it, so remove the on file one. With that in our place set, we can now launch the game. All right, so once your game is launched, you can click new game, go to any age you like. I'm just gonna to go to age 67. Make sure you click create your own ruler. And then for my example, I'm gonna go on Ghana, create your own ruler and then add in your traits that you want. So I want to test the test trait here. So that does seem to be working. So now I'm in game and my trait is showing up with giving me an extra diplomacy, martial and prowess. The test uh, trait tracking is also all working with the description names. Everything here is, is great. So to test our trait, we're going to need to declare war on someone. So we have just won a siege and our trait has given us 11 XP. So that is perfect. So our base value of 10 plus the martial divided by 20. So that aspect of the trait is working. Now to test the travel part of the trait. So we can go to a pilgrimage. And then as soon as that trait, as soon as our travel starts, it looks like we have gained XP of 10, which is great. Yeah, so our on travel complete uh, code is working. So we've got 43 XP from sieging and uh, traveling to somewhere and back. All right, so that is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, and also let me know what tutorials you would like to see in the future. Cheers.